led off that mixed relay in the prelims in the 100 back in a time that would have won the gold medal. And I think he should have his best swim here. The U.S. has been so dominant in this event through the Worlds. They've had two places on the podium in the last five World Championships. They've got Clary up in lane one, and they've got Ryan Murphy going for it in lane five, just below the favorite Larkin in lane four. The two yellow lane lines, the top one is lane four, and the bottom one is lane five. Mitchell Larkin has looked so easy the first two swims, and those prelims and semis went his best time, the fastest time in the world this year in that first semifinal. And as I'm watching Ryan Murphy right below him with that dark cap, it's very important. He didn't overswim that first 50. He's out in 27-1, which is just a tick over what he went in the semi. So he did, definitely did not swim it. He's got to learn how to swim straight down the middle, though, Dan. You see how he's right up against that lane line. That's one thing he's got to fix as he heads into the next year. There's Ryosuke Arie in lane seven, who's got the lead at the halfway point. Followed by Larkin and followed by Murphy up there in lane five. And Irie right there took a quick look across the field and saw exactly where he's looked. Look at that stroke by Irie. It is so beautiful. So many people talk about that soft entry, nice arm speed. But here comes the beautiful stroke of Mitch Larkin. He's got that body rotating his, around his head in a big way. It's going to be very close. Can Murphy come back on him? Right now. Murphy had a faster last 50 in the semis. It is Larkin and Arie battling for the gold, and Ryan Murphy trying to get on the podium. Larkin looking strong up there in lane four as Arie has begun to fade a little bit. Below him is Ryan Murphy, and then don't forget about Radoslav Kovetsky up there in lane two, also battling for a spot. But Mitchell Larkin is going to win gold. Kovetsky two lanes above him, battling for the silver as they crash to the wall. Larkin, Kovetsky, and Riloff. So what a start to these finals by Australia. They get the gold and the bronze in the women's hundred. And Mitch Larkin comes up big time in the men's 200 back. The first Australian to win a world title in this event. Well, Friday night for Australia, their fifth gold this week. Larkin takes the gold. Kovetsky takes the silver for the second straight Worlds for Poland. And Riloff gets a nice rise out of the crowd, winning bronze for Russia.